Hello and welcome to the Morphin Lake Sea review of the Samurai Battle Wing toy from Bandai of America. And I'm also going to review the Swordfish Sword, the Beetle Sword, and the Tiger Sword. Uh, I'm also going to show you how to combine them with the Samurai Megazord, as well as combining them together to create the Samurai Battle Wing. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to start with the Tiger Sword, um, which is the center of the Samurai Battle Wing. And so, what you do first, you're going to take off the head on the front. It's kind of hard for a second. Set that aside for a moment. Take off the little tail on the bottom and the back, too. Get that out of the way. And you basically want it to be like this. It's all four facing you. And you're going to take the head. Take the head. You're going to place it on this little cross point here. Like that. And the bottom clicks to stop the wheel. And you want to have it like this. Basically like that. The tail is for later. Okay, I set the Tiger Zord piece aside. And now we're going to start with the Beetle Zord. First you take off the top pincer. Ink that up. Set that aside. Flip this little head over. So he's facing like that. And you're going to want to take off both of these little tendrils on the side. This one um, goes on the top, which is up here. Or, sorry, the other one. There. Those two pieces go to the side, and you have this. Okay, now that you got that piece together, we're going to combine it with the Tiger Zord side. This. This little thing right here connects to that. So you should have that so far. Next up is the Swordfish Sword, which is the easiest to combine. All you have to do is remove the tail on the back. Like that. You have this piece left over. That's basically it. So, what you do is you take what we've done before already, attach the swordfish on the side, that you have this extra piece here. So, attach it to the top receiver on the swordfish sword so that you have one on both sides. Okay, so we still have some extra parts left. So, let's start with the beak of the samurai battle wing, which comes from the beetle sword. This is going to go right here. That snapped into place to make the beak. And then you take the swordfish tail, and that goes up here. There's a white receiver behind the beak right here. Just snap it. Snap it into place. So you have this so far. And there you have it, the samurai battle wing. All right, so now that we have um, completed the Samurai Battle Wing, to the right there, um, we're going to combine it with the Samurai Megazord. Um, it kind of goes on the back for, like, wings, like it does on the show. Um, there are a couple steps. It's fairly easy, and then uh, they'll be combined. So let's start with taking some parts off of the Samurai Battle Wing. We're going to need to remove the crown part, or the horns. Put that aside. And then you're also going to want to go to the bottom of the Samurai Battle Wing, Take off the two tiger or drills. Set those aside as well. And you're also going to want to take the tiger or helmet off the back. So right now we're done with that. We have four pieces set aside. Let's bring up our samurai megazord. Remove his samurai helmet. Put it aside somewhere safe. We don't lose it. And first thing that you're going to want to do is take the Tiger Zord drill and put them on the side of the legs. So it's going to go on the bear's the bear folding Zord. There are two receiving parts on here and two on the Tiger Zord drill. So just snap it in. 
without taking the leg off. There we go. Then there's one on the other side, on the dragon side, and just pop that one into place as well. I know you can't see, but there's receptors. There we go. Okay. So now you got two Tiger Zord drills on each side of the Megazord. Turn the Megazord around, and you'll see that there's this little part right here. You lift it up to an appropriate level. And what we're going to do, we're going to take the Samurai Battlewing. There's two receivers, or two uh, ports there, and then there's a receiver on the Megazord. So take that. And snap it into place. Whoops. Okay. So now you should look like that. Then there's some final steps here. Take the Tiger Zord helmet. Put it on the Samurai Mega Zord. And then the horns go on top of the Tiger Zord's head. And there you go. The Battle Wing Mega Zord. Okay, and all three of the Zords actually combine with the Megazord individually. So we're going to start with the Tiger Zord, which combines with the Samurai Megazord to create the Tiger Drill Megazord. Um, first, let's start with taking the Tiger Zord apart. And what you want to do is first remove his head. Set that down. Move, remove his tail. And then you're going to want to look at it this side from where the little T is at the bottom. And take the the front two legs off. Okay, once they come off, you got that. Now go ahead and snap them into each of the sides up on this here, like that. So that you have this. Before you combine the Tiger Zord with the Samurai Megazord, take the Samurai Megazord Samurai Helmet off and remove it. We won't need it. Then you want to take this section of the Tiger Zord that you made earlier, and drills pointing up, turn the Mega Zord around, and you can see his receptors there. The receptors here on the Tiger Zord snap right into place in there. Drills pointing up, okay. Then you get the Tiger Zord's uh, helm head, put the, tiger, the tail, snap it into place on top, kind of like a little crown. And put it on the Megazord's head. There you go. Tiger Drill Megazord. Okay, now it's time to combine the Samurai Megazord with the Swordfish Sword. And that creates the Swordfish Fencer Megazord. And it's pretty simple. First, take off the Swordfish's head. Like that. The tail stays on, actually. There we go. Okay. We're going to need that in a second. Put that right there. Remove the Samurai Megazord's helmet and his sword. Okay. And what we're also going to do, we're going to remove the ape folding sword from the Megazord. And that snaps on that side. Then take the Samurai Megazord sword. Put it in there like that. And then to complete it, take the head, move the things up, and then ends up his helmet. And there you go. Swordfish Fencer Megazord. Last is the Beetle Zord, um, which combines with the Samurai Megazord to complete the Beetle Blaster Megazord. Um, first, what you do, remove the helmet again. It gets a new helmet with every form. Take off the Beetle's head. Like that. Set that aside for a second. Keep the Beetle's body in intact and there on the other side is a switch well not a switch but to pull it forward like that that goes in the monkey's arm 
kind of like a shield, like that. And then next, you take this part, which we put aside earlier, take this in the middle and open it. It's like that. And that's his helmet. There you go, Beetle Blaster Megazord. Well, that's all the combinations for the Swordfish, Tiger, and Beetle Zord, and Samurai Megazord. Um, thank you for watching the video. Um, it, stay tuned for the Clawzord and Octozord review, which I'm going to do pretty soon here, I think. Um, always don't forget to subscribe to us on uh, Facebook. Like us on Facebook. Click the Swordfish if you want to like us on Facebook. Also, I want you to remind you to uh, view, view our Tumblr. we got lots of great pictures there. I'm always posting stuff. Click the Tiger Zord for Tumblr. Um, and don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Click the Beatles Award for Twitter. Um, and always, uh, don't forget to visit the main site, MorphinLegacy.com. And uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you uh, watch the next one. Thanks. Um, I also wanted to say a few words about the uh, figures that come with the Samurai Auxiliary Zords. Um, the blue Samurai Ranger comes with the Swordfish, the red Samurai Ranger comes with the Tiger Zord, and the green Ranger comes with the Beetle Zord. Um, well, if you look at them, they're not quite the same figures as like the regular Mega Ranger figures. Um, they're just pretty standard figures in one pose, they don't move. Um, their hands move, the swords move a little. You can manipulate that if you want. But really, all I use them for is uh, decoration on my desk. They don't really do a lot. They just stand there. <laughs> and I would have uh, would have been great to have a two of the females, the yellow and pink ranger. But oh well. Uh, and I did get the gold ranger figure with my claw sword. So I will show you that in the next video.